from the sayings of imams and scholars about dhikr. Abbas radiallahu an said God almighty and exalted put a limit on all the obligations that he ordered human beings except for zikir for it there is no limit Ibn Qayyim al-Jawziyah said there is no doubt that the heart oxidizes just a copper and silver oxidize its polishing is the dhikr which will make it like a white mirror the oxidation of the heart is due to hardness and sin its polishing is by means of two actions repent repentance and dhikr if someone's heart is cloudy and reflections of images will be unclear he will see falsehood and as a truth and truth in the image of falsehood when there is too much oxidation on the heart the heart will be darkened and the darkness uh, the images of the truth and reality never appear the best way to polish it is through dhikrullah Ibn Atallah said by dhikr you leave behind hadalness and forgetfulness you keep your heart present with God almighty and exalted the best way to approach his presence is by reciting the name of Allah in the heart or on the tongue or by reciting any of his names Abu Qasim al Khusairi said Zikir is the strongest support in the way of God Almighty and exalted No one can reach the divine presence except by continuing continuing to recite zikir Mulai al Arabi Adar Qawi said do not say I'm nothing neither say I'm I am something do not say I need such and such a thing nor yet I need nothing but say Allah and you will see marvels we see from what 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 was have been mentioned that all guides and perfect sheikhs advise the seeker in the way of God to recite continuous uh, dhikr in all states of their lives and to join the company of people in groups who practice thankfulness we see that the holy quran and the sunnah of the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam the scholars are all in accordance on this matter mm-hmm.